it's such a big game. Not just because it's the prestige, the heritage, the history of the FA Cup. That always makes, especially the third round, a big game. And you can often get a lucky draw. You can come up against a Huddersfield. You can get Wigan in League One like Man United. They've got Preston as Chelsea have been very fortuitous to get. But the games are still big. The necessity to win and be in that fourth round is huge. It's the oldest, most prestigious, most famous cup competition in the world. It's a chance of silverware. And for Arsenal this weekend, it's important that they show their class. Now hit the like button. Please make sure you are subscribing. Get that done now, please. Turn on bell notifications. I want to start with Liverpool as the away team. I knew they'd be in the top four this year. I'm going to do that with consummate ease. They're in the title race. The rebuild of their midfield has been very, very good. And I still think it's going to get better as these players settle, really find themselves. Jurgen Klopp has disproved many a person who believed him to be finished, done, over the hill. No way of returning. Mohamed Salah. Only a week or two ago, people were speaking as though he was done and finished. But they find themselves top of the pyramid as of right now. With a sizable gap between them and Arsenal. Between them and Manchester City. Going into the FA Cup period and then a short international break which if they don't beat Arsenal when they draw, actually, they might have to play in that week, but they're going to have a little bit of a break. Yes, they've lost some important players to the Asian Cup, Endo, who started to look great, and, of course, Mohamed Salah. And the talk is and the noise is with Salah going there in trouble. Didn't happen last time AFCON happened. And both Senegal, of course, Mane was there, and Egypt, with Mohamed Salah, got to the final. But Liverpool's run of form during that time was impeccable. It truly was. Now, I believe somebody this time round is going to step up. This idea, whether it's Darwin, whether it's Gakpo, whether it be Diaz, Jota, they're going to score goals. And I think too many teams uh, believing that suddenly they're going to become a bad team because Mo Salah's not there, they're going to leave a bit more space. They're maybe not going to mark somebody as hard. A bit of complacency is going to set in. They're going to do very, very well in this next few weeks, Liverpool. In the Premier League. In the League Cup. But Arsenal have an opportunity to stop them Sunday, 4.30. Now, Liverpool have been the better team this year. Liverpool have been the better team predominantly over the last five, six, seven, eight years. There is no debate in that conversation. One win in their last eight games against Liverpool for Arsenal. That's including their home and their away fixtures, which simply isn't good enough for a team of Arsenal's standard. But the last home game, they beat them 3-2. And the last two games away at Anfield, they have taken the lead in both games. They've ended up drawing them, but they've taken the lead in those games. So there has been a shift recently in a contemporary sense when it comes to this game. Now, what's intriguing for me is how Arsenal play. They have one win in their last seven games. And now that I've said that out loud, we don't edit these videos. Now I've said it out loud, I've got to go and check <laughs> that that is true. I believe it's one win in their last seven. It could be one win in their last six. I'm just looking at this again now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. It is six. One in six. I apologize. One win in their last six. And I said this at the top of the video. I'm going to stand by it. They have to show their class have to. And it isn't just to win this third round game. It isn't just for the confidence booster that beating Liverpool Football Club will give them. That is a shot in the arm this team needs right now. But fans are losing it. And fans of football clubs go through really weird uh, processes. 
and they don't understand the power, the influence they have at their football club. You take a scenario like Man United fans. Never really done enough to get rid of the Glazers. Protests, yes. Hashtags, yes. Whinging, moaning, crying, shouting. Plenty. Ranting, raving for days. But how much tangible action? We all know the only thing they're interested in as owners is making money. The one thing we have failed to ever pull away from them is the money. In fact, we've given them more and more and more over the last 17 years. That's why they're selling it for billions of pounds. We gave them what they want. We had the power. We have seen what can happen if you look at a team like Real Madrid. When they won the Champions League season before last. They were not the best team in nearly any of those knockout games. But the experience those fans have due to the heritage of their club, they stay relaxed. At the point where it seemed there was no return, the team took salvation in the confidence their fans had, the relaxation their fans had in that moment of, we will be okay. We believe in you. And they won so many of those games when they probably shouldn't. Where if it was a less experienced football club with fans that had not been there and won it, won, won it and worn the T-shirt, I don't quite think, I don't quite believe they would have done it. Anfield, when it's rocking, when it's on fire, when it's at its potent, poisonous best, I mean, poisonous for its rivals, it can suck that ball into the net at the cop end. It can render their, oppo their opponents almost motionless. There is power in fans. I don't know how quantifiable it is. I don't know what empirical evidence exists, but it's an area of football that I believe doesn't get enough attention. I believe it to be real. And I've heard the Arsenal fans in the last six games, they're jittery, they're nervous. They're not listening to me, and why the hell would they? A lot of, a lot of Arsenal fans watch me, but they're not listening. That Their nervousness, their anxiety, their tension is also impacting the team. So I put it to the players, I put it to, to Mikel Arteta, this Sunday you have to win and you have to perform and you must go your class. A good win in this game and a good win over Liverpool could be 1-0, could be 2-1, could be 3-2, could be narrow, could be tight, still a good win. One of the best teams in the world. You are not top of the Premier League unless you're one of the best teams in the world. Whether you're talking over a prolonged period or in that individual season. Right now, one of the best teams in the world, Liverpool, without a shadow of a doubt. If they're in the Champions League, they could win it. If they're at the World Club Championships, they'd win it. If City weren't there, they'd definitely win it. They could win it with City there. It's huge this weekend. To stay in the FA Cup, they have to win more trophies. But I think also for their Premier League campaign. They then won't kick another ball until the 20th of January, to go away after this poor run with a brilliant win, the wind, you know, a bit of wind under their sails or in their sails, whichever the expression is, I've never gone sailing, <laughs> I think is imperative. Because if they come back, the home game on the 20th of January against Crystal Palace in that fourth round with a win under their belt and the class shining through, a performance to be proud of. Mikel Arteta, Letting the harness off this team. The players, especially the attackers, expressing themselves and demonstrating their true quality. They beat Palace. They then go away to Forest, which is hard. And I think they win that. And then their title track is back on. But I don't think the fans can help push their team forward at the moment. It needs a performance from these players to make these fans believe again. Now, if you don't do it, it doesn't matter to me personally. It's not my club. But it's a big game. This is the preview. My prediction is I'm going for a very narrow Arsenal win, 2-1. It's going to be a hard-fought game. But they must, as I've already said, they must Arsenal show their class.